Okay. So, it's going to be nice, you guys. Celestial Storm booster box right here. For those that don't know, we are looking for Full Art Lucia, some Rayquazas. And we're going to be saving a pack. A nice juicy pack right here. Oh, Jirachi. That's right. So these are some of the pack art. Right here. Stone Journer. That's the fourth one. So the four types of pack arts right here are going to be Rayquaza, Stone Journer, Blaziken, and Jirachi. Celestial Storm time. Whew. I've only been able to open up maybe one box of this before. We've opened up singles. It's not too often that we get to do a box. Good luck, William. Good luck, sir. Ooh, Underground Expedition. Such a cool card. You guys, soak it in. Enjoy it. Because this ain't going to last forever. And it's not every day that we get to open up some Celestial Storm. It's going to be Lysia. Lysia is the big chase card right there. One of the top waifus, too. Come Bushkin. We got Bagon. Beautiful card arts. Look at that. The dragon type bag on right there. That is such great card art. Wow. Torchic. We got Love Disc. Spinarak. A lot of these Pokemon being in Scarlet and Violet. We got different Torchic artwork. Skitty. And we got Full Art Articuno out of the first pack. No way right now. What? The legendary bird. Articuno GX full art coming through. My goodness. Wow. That is a beautiful card. Dude. The textures on the back. The colors. Oh. That is beautiful. Beautiful. What's up, Hash? Happy Tuesday, brother. Hopefully you're having a good day. Same with you, dark kid. Insane. To get that out of first pack. Hello? Hello? Definitely right heavy right there. For sure. For sure, for sure. All right, dude, look at that. My Tang. Why does this feel like vintage already? Is that just me? It's so crazy. Celestial Storm released in the Sun and Moon era. That was the last era. We're currently in the Sword and Shield era, but it's so insane that it's about to be uh, two eras ago, I guess. Now that Scarlet and Violet is going to be releasing in January. So wild to say. Wow, Mudkip. Alolan Rattata. Like, right now, it's just like, oh, Sun and Moon? That's like the previous one. But now it's not going to be like that. Surskit. We got Life Herb. And we get a Hollow Tyranitar. Dude. Beautiful card right there on the Hollow Tyranitar. If you guys don't know, that is the same artwork that they use. They reuse this artwork here. Um, I believe as in... Uh, same artwork as in Neo. I believe you guys that artwork might look a little familiar they did the same thing with uh, steelix i think crazy sash i know you're familiar you're familiar with that artwork any any neo lovers out there so they did the same thing with some other cards as well i think it was either steelix or i think it was onyx maybe Yeah, turn. We got Spoink. Electric. Surskit. This card is in Hidden Fates, but it's the shiny version of it, Daisy. The thing is, shiny Articuno looks very similar to, like, the regular. Oh, this is the Onyx artwork right here. Same thing, Sash. You might remember that as well. 
That's a throwback card right there. Ball toy. So in Hidden Fates, what they did is that they took full art artworks and they made them shiny. Um, so you can see the same thing right here with like Bennett. They took that same artwork and made it shiny. Same thing with the Rayquaza. You see right here, I have the shiny version of that Rayquaza. It's the same exact pose, but just the, the shiny form. So, pretty cool. Ball toy. We got Lysia. And we got Stack Attacka. <laughs> Fucking Stack Attacka GX. That is. I that became a fucking promo. Hey, man. Okay. It's still hard to get the promo, first of all. Second of all, I still love the card regardless. I mean, come on. Such a beautiful card. Love it. Hey, it really goes to, it really goes to show, Sash. You learn something new every day. Same with me, man. And I love it. There's so much to learn about the game. And there's so many things that you're going to be able to pass on down to Roy, too. Dude, we've been three for three. Three white code cards. Three good code cards, I guess I should say. Dude. Crazy. Did we, did we get that graded, Sosh? Look at these artworks right here, too. Dawn fan. Scyther. Such great card arts. How? We got Meditite. Would you have liked to pull a Vaporeon V, Altenar, or buy it from a box in Evolving Skies? <laughs> Plan Pearl, Banfi, Electrike, Volbeat into a Claydol. No, I would have definitely loved to pull a Zodi. For sure. For sure, for sure. Came back a 9, okay. Yeah, that was so crazy, dude. Out of the fucking Walgreens mystery pack. I still remember we were screaming. For, dude, those first wave of Walgreens mystery packs were just so goaded. Dude, the Apricorn Maker. That's a sick card. Spicy! Two months already? What? How? Hey! Grand Spicy, that subscribe. With the uh, search kit? You think that he asked, can it be pulled? Zodi asked if it can be pulled? Or what? I think Zodi knows. Larvitar? Dude, that's another artwork right there that you might remember. Spicy, thank you so much for the two months, man. Bellsprout. Chinchow. Meditite. Porchic Reverse. Into a Deoxys. We were surprised how the condition was minty as fuck. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just, you know, just moving around in the box. No protection, nothing. Crazy. Torkoal. We got Lure Ball. Rainbow Energy. Chinchow. Gulpin. Spoink. Ball Toy. Wingle. Spoink Reverse into a Regirock. I hope you've enjoyed your first month in here, Spicy. All right. Appreciate you a lot, man. Love having some fellow Canadians in here. And uh, hopefully to many more months, man. Tropius. The vintage was straight cap. I've seen somebody get vintage from it. Somebody got a base set pack from it. Wingle. Meditite. C-Dot. Clam Pearl, a Lantern Reverse, and we got an Articuno GX. That's a sick GX card. Whoa. That's crazy. Seeing his uh, talons right there. It's a beautiful card. The Hall of Foil on the eyes, too. It is right heavy, but you know. 
Yeah, we ended up getting a Platinum Supreme Victors pack from it. That was like vintage as well. Articuno box. Legendary box right here. So maybe we get a Rayquaza too, huh, William? You know that when you say fellow, that infers that you're also that. Like, fellow Canadian means you're also Canadian. I mean, I am fellow Canadian. I got Canadian in me, t -Mai. I'm adopted Canadian. <laughs> Slugma. Larvitar. I'm damn near. I'm right at the border almost. Shit. Bellsprout. Whalmer. Swalot. To a Reggie Ice. What's the Canadian's name that's in <laughs> that I'm in? Don't get keep nationalities. I can be whoever I want. <laughs> Super scoop up. We got Masquerade. Bill's maintenance. Skitty. Lotad. Surskit. Schneezel. Shup it. We got Spinarak into a Grumpig. What's going on, Roach? Hello, hello. Dude, this is so much fun, man. God damn, Celestial Storm. Incredible. The Sia, we got Torkoal. Voltorb. Yu-Gi-Oh, Roach. Schneezel. C-Dot. Gulpin. We got C-Dot. Bag on Reverse. That's a beautiful artwork. Into a Reggie Ice. Pokemon, I've touched little of when it comes to the TCG. You grinding? You hard grinding TCG or something? Oracorio. We got Pupitar. Fisherman. Gulpin. I'm surprised there's no full art fisherman in this set. Beldum. Slugma. Beldum. We got Sky Pillar. Into a Metagross Hollow with Steven in the back. Damn, dude. This is throwbacks. Steven used to be so bad at, like, in terms of, like, you'd, you'd face Steven, you'd be like, damn, dude. This guy's hard. For Mon-wise, Rayquaza. But the, the most expensive card, though, is going to be Lysia, I believe. Cool art, Lysia. You're cold, Daisy? What? You're, you're still in bed? Cozied up? It's going to be Rayquaza GX as the uh, the Mon Chase. Got Cacturn. Mass Royal. Lysia is the full art trainer. Banffy. Wingle. Trico. Cacnea into a Bonnet. Are you talking about the Mon Chase? The Pokemon Chase card? What's up, Cookie? You got a nice, uh, nice TikTok for us, huh? All right, give me a second. Ooh, Huntail, Grovile. We got Energy Switch, Wingle, Trico, Voltor, Sneasel, Cedar, Jirachi Prism. I forgot about that, dude. I totally forgot that there are Prism cards. And none other than Jirachi right here. That is sick. Where you at, Jen? We got Whale Lord. Damn, that's throwbacks. Diamond and Pearl remake. You put rice into the rice cooker. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, get us in for some more. TV reporter, Dunsparce, Kate and Liza, Mudkip, Cedar, Wingle, Gushpoint, Chinchow, Minum, that's cool artwork, to a Kartana non hollow. Dun, 
dun, dun, dun, dun. You gotta start Scarlet and Violet, William. You finished God of War, man. It's time. It's time for the Scarlet and Violet grind. Rainbow Energy. Gorobus. We got Nuzleaf. Bagon. Double Bagon. Clamperl. Lotad. Fanfy. Grumpig into an Exploud. Beautiful Jirachi Prism. Beautiful, beautiful card. I honestly, I really like the prisms. In terms of like reverse hollow hits, I don't know why they got rid of the prisms. Amazing rares were cool, but prisms, man. <laughs> the two time bag on these nuts. Beast Ball, we got Switch. Alolan Rattata, Switch is another one. They took the, uh, the card art. From Old Sat Surskit, Slugma, Larvitar, Dunsparce into a Delmise. And I'm curious, now that we, we kind of see in this set how they've been, you know, reusing some artworks from older sets. Curious why they haven't done that in these newer sets in Sword and Shield. Life or we got Sita, Beldum, Lolan Ratata, Voltor, Matang into a Deoxys. Whoa. Whoa. Speed form. I believe. Little lunchtime Napperton. Are you still you still on the diet? I had some some veggies and salmon yesterday for for lunch after the stream. Shup it, and I was starving by the time it hit like 5 p.m. Weeping Bell into a Del Caddy Hollow. Ooh, love how these hollow foils are in the Sun and Moon era. They just hit different. Funny how eating better makes you feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> Grovile, wow. we got Lantern, Shellgon, Beldum, Shepet, Mudkip, Torchic, Wismer with Beware right there. So these these cards right here tell a story, I'm pretty sure. Um You can see right there, Beware chasing after Wismer. And I think if we pull Beware's card, it will show a, a different turn of events. Rico into a Skeptile non-hollow. Don't know if we've pulled Beware yet. Mine, um, Copycat. Ooh. Ooh. That's another great one in this set, too. Different Copycat than the Evolving Skies one. What's up, Goose? Wismer, Voltor. We got Love Disc. Into a Slaking Hollow. Alright, alright. It's cool how the light's just barely shining through um, the tree. Yeah. He's in the forest. Just like, it literally, it's just like in Scarlet and Violet. If you guys have ever encountered the Terra Slaking just laying around, out there he's um he's just big chilling just like that hope you're having a great day goose clam pro happy tuesday my man fanfi bonnet into a steven's resolve better luck with this one hopefully <laughs> all right you don't you don't believe in the booster box life no more huh gray beard
Could have gone. Could go for a thin crust pizza, a steak sandwich, chicken wings, and eight beers right now. God damn, beefy rat. Not even or. I love how you didn't say like a thin crust pizza or a chicken steak sandwich or, or a steak sandwich or chicken wings. You said this, 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 and this. Acro bike into a swamp hurt. That Terrace looking fucked you up. <laughs> Too low level at the time. Oh, man. Alright, come on now. Schneezel, Sita. We got Deoxy's defense form into a Manectric. Old sets are great, man. Old sets are for sure great. New sets hit nice too, though. Don't get me wrong. For sure. The new sets hit different with the artworks and stuff like that. But the old sets as well are just something else about it. Like, when I open up this set, it's like I get a different feeling about it. I'm like, damn, dude. I'm in a rush. Oh, the Giga Impact just hit hard. Okay. Nice. You beat Scarlet. Just so I can transfer the Legendary slash Paradox mons to violet now i'm working on finishing violet just elite four left in paradox nice man nice 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 gorobis into an explode any luck with shinies okay we got three more packs on this side i will say gray beard so we're gonna be opening up a another booster box after this and then you'll be up if that's okay hopefully you're not in a rush gray beard appreciate you hanging out with us today game tells you that you battle three so you might have in kind you might have encountered shiny with your friend or something like that um because it says that i battled two of them or something like that but it's because i was traded to shinies last chance potion into a hollow lunala dude beautiful i've never i never caught one myself megalodont yet <laughs> I'm down bad, bro. I had multiple. I had five shinies taken from my land when I had people over. And then I was gifted like two or three shinies to give away. Sag. You saw a shiny Umbreon in the raid den with you? Ooh, that's sick. You just got me up on the TV about the little one naps. Okay. Well, you might want to be careful because if we hit a big juicer right here, I'm going to be str I'm going to be screaming, Greybeard. But maybe that's going to be the little one's alarm, yeah? Hustle belt. Hey, that's for the hustlers out there. Wismer. We got Shuppet. Schneezel. You got one Ursa Ring full. Oh, that's nice, Megalodon. We got TV Reporter. And we got Shift Tree GX. Dude, that's a badass looking card. Look at the hollow foil on his eye. Whoa. Dude, that's intense looking. Imagine you encounter Shift Tree. He's just in in the trees on the branches, just looking down at you like this. Damn. Badass looking card. Alright, how are we gonna do these last packs, William? Uh, for the Rayquazas? Do we weigh them? Cause I think it's it. It's the lighter packs that have hit, no, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, this is from a booster box, Goose. Booster box life, Sky Pillar, Torkoal, and Lure Ball, Mudkip, Torchic. We got Wismer, Cacnea, Love Disc, Wismer Reverse. And we had a hollow steel. That's another one. Okay, so I was right. It's Onyx and Steelix that got reprinted. Dude. You remember this card, Sash? Not the hollow foil, but the the artwork itself. You guys remember that? Holy shit. I remember that, Steelix. Okay. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. we'll see, William. Uh, it, it, we'll test it. Right. 
See if there's any uh Twenty-one point five nine. Will's a perv, and you're okay with twenty-one point five nine. Twenty-one point seven four. Wipe off the TT. Twenty-one point six one. That's like in the middle. We can like test it out. Twenty-one point six five. Let's see like what packs and hopefully we'd have like sample size of each one 21.68 these are all like 21.6 21.6 21 21.65 okay those might be non-hit packs i think that's what i'm thinking 21.64 i feel like they're like non-hollows in those ones 21.75 okay so um what we can do is we have ourselves two four six packs so this is the lightest one these are the heavier ones and these are in the middle at 21.6 um maybe we open up at 21.6 to see what we get in there hello Issa. Hello, hello. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, Issa. I've missed you. Um, I don't know. And then there's two of these packs. So we could open up the heavier one to see. Open at 21.6 and see. Okay. And then since we have two 21.7 and higher, we can open up one of them. And if it's a hit, then we know that at least this other one will be a hit. If not, if there's no hit in 21.7... And I think my theory is correct about the lighter pack having the hit. I think the light pack might have the hit because it has the light code card in it. I th I don't know for sure, though. We'll see. Yeah, this one's a green code card. 21.6 is green code card in there. Trico into a Reggie Rock. Okay. I think light has hit because it. that's how... I, I, I don't know for sure, but that's why we can test it, right? So we open up a heavy. If heavy has no hit, then we know that light has hit. Fucking science, right? <laughs> I think that's the, the plan here. Okay, so we'll open up this one. What a bunch of nerds. <laughs> Uh, how's life been going though, Issa? Tell me about it. Heavy is green. Just in case. V Star Universe is see through? Interesting. I did not know that. Do you have a video or do you have a link for it? Larvitar to a Reggie Steel. That's why I don't sell individual packs of it. You got to go by the booster box, brother. Can't be doing individual packs out here. Okay, so I believe based off of that, there could be a hit in this. I think. I'm not 100% sure. So this one will not have a hit. And yeah, so now we open up Light Pack. I think this is going to be hit. If my theory is correct. If not, we always have these packs, right? As like... Because those packs would be able to... Uh, No, <laughs> my theory's wrong. <laughs> so it doesn't work. Uh, my theory's wrong. Okay, well, now it's just a shot in the dark. Fuck. Uh, shit. Okay. So, we have ourselves two, four, five Rayquaza packs that are 21.6. And we have a he heavy one right there. Um, I don't know if you can see this. You see this? 
Heavy packs have hits. Okay. See, you see this right here, William? This is the heavy pack. It doesn't have that. Th I've noticed this after we take more of a look at packs right here. It has this line. It's from the machine. A lot of packs tend to have this going right down the middle. A lot of them tend to have it. So this is the only one that doesn't. Right there. More like it. That one's clean, bro. That one's fucking clean. I think that's the one that we gotta save, even though it's the, uh... The heavier one? I don't know, William. I don't know, dude. I think... I think we gotta save that one. All these... <laughs> all these have that line. The machine line. <sighs> Hate that, man. You can literally see it going right down the middle. This one's clean. That's the heaviest one. But, MD, we weighed, we weighed a heavy pack. And, uh... It's, uh, it didn't have a hit in it, so I don't know. I don't even know if this one has a hit, honestly. There's no guarantee. Um, I think... So this one has the line above it. This one wouldn't get a good grade, honestly. I think these two. Boom. Okay, so these ones we open up. We open up these ones then. I'll make sure that these packs stay safe. Okay. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Fucking science, man. <laughs> We're such nerds. Any any regular viewer who doesn't know much about Pokemon cards, who casually collects or you know, plays the game or anything like that. They're just probably like, bro, these guys are ridiculous. We're weighing packs out here. Are we back? What just happened? What? Refresh. Reward delay. Weird. Dude, we hit the lot of Oss. Let's go. Stream saw the Lottie Austin awesome decide to freeze. <laughs> Beautiful prism. I didn't even know that was in the set. Reminds me of the Lottie Austin that you pulled from uh, Dragon's Majesty. But I'm pretty sure it's like one to two prisms per box. Um, Secret Santa piece ready to pick up. Okay, awesome, William. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like one to two prism per box. So it's like any other light packs wouldn't have a prism in it unless if it's like an air where you get three prisms, but I've only these type of boxes I see one to two on average. Build them. I've never seen three rare candy into a whale lord, but it's possible. All right. All right. Yeah. I don't know what's been going on Rolando. the internet here, man. Fucking trash. It's all been green code so far. So, our uh, theory about 21.6 is correct. Yes. 100%. Only there was a secret. What are the secret rares? The golds in this. Oh, this one's rainbow energy. That's a nice one. The gold rainbow energy. No, it's not, Daisy. The weather's been fine. It's just overcast. Bellsprout into a Mecargo. Mm -hmm. 
Who got the time to be scamming on V-Star packs? I can't even find time to scan this mountain of code cards I got. <laughs> Good morning, lad. Oh! Whoa, William. Okay, so... They really... It, there is no consistency with Wang for these. This is our first white code card. Whoa. This came from 21.6. Ooh. Scary. Scary. Trico. Skitty. Spinnerack. Bag on. Bag on. Lombre. Oh. We. A Lolan Radicate GX. That could have stayed in the pack, honestly. Jesus Christ, dude. Whoa. Oh, dude. Look at them cheeks. Holy, man. <laughs> okay. The rat. <laughs> the fucking rat to end it off on. All right. Well. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right, you guys. That is the end of the video. Please consider dropping a like, subscribe, and comment down below. It'd be much appreciated. And if you guys want to see any live content almost every single day of the week, go check out the Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Mr. Underscore Voodoo. And we'll be seeing you guys next time.